Hello kids! And today we have six games! So let's play our first game! And today we're gonna learn about the numbers and we're also gonna solve the Peppa Pig puzzle. So let's start! Oh, where did the numbers go? And the puzzle pieces! I think they're somewhere in these crayons. So let's open them and let's start with the blue one crayon. And let's shake it and oh, how many things we have here. We have numbers, we have wheels and we have puzzle pieces. So let's start with the puzzle pieces. How many puzzle pieces we have? One, two, three, four and five. Great. And let's try to combine them. Right, let's take this puzzle piece and see. Here we have the glasses of the pig. And here we have a sun, right? Here we have another puzzle piece. And here you can see we have a mouth of the pepper. Let's try to do this. Great. And let's then try to take this one and see where we can place it. Maybe if we're gonna turn it out like this, we can connect. Great. Let's take the next one. And the next one is the part of the cloud. But at the moment, I think we can try here, but it doesn't go here well. So let's try to like this. No. So we need another puzzle piece to solve this. So let's leave it like that. And let's take the number. So right now it's, we can see it's a number five. And let's count. One, two, three, four and five. Great, well done. And let's take five wheels. So here's five blue wheels, right? So let's take and place. One, two, three, four and five. Great, and let's take the number eight. And let's count, from, start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And let's take the wheels. Let's place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. Well done. And let's take the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the yellow one. And let's shake it like this and let's open it oh what we have here we have uh, yellow wheels the yellow number and the puzzle pieces great and let's start with puzzle pieces so let's try to connect with the previous one so here we have a part of the cloud right so let's try to combine yes great and let's turn around this puzzle pieces and let's see what we can do here so here we have the corner puzzle piece. And here is another puzzle piece where we have orange dress. Mm. And at the moment, I don't see that we can somehow combine them. So maybe if we're gonna place this here, let's try again. No, it doesn't work. Okay, so let's try to place this here at the moment like this, right? Okay, and let's go with the numbers. So right now we can see the number. It's a number three, great. And it's a yellow color, number three. Amazing, and let's count. One, two, and yes, three. Great, and let's take the three wheels. One, two, and three. Congratulations, amazing. Well done, and let's take the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the brown. Let's try the brown, let's shake. Oh, there's so many things here. We have puzzle pieces, we have number. So maybe this time, let's start with the number. And here we have the number 10. So let's count, starting from the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, and then let's take 10 wheels, like this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, great. And let's go through our puzzle pieces. Let's turn around them like this. Okay. And I already see that we can combine this puzzle with this. So here is the part of the window. So let's combine like this. Great, well done. And let's look at what we have in our puzzle board. So we have a lot of puzzle pieces and here is the orange color. So you can see here is the part of the hand and here's the part of the hand, right? So let's connect like this. Great, amazing. And let's see what we can connect next one. And maybe what we can do is to connect this puzzle piece with this one. So it's a part of the house like this. Great, well done. And then another thing that we have is a part of the roof. And here we have a part of the roof, right? So we can do like this, connect, amazing. So the next one that we can take could be the B. You can see there is the B. So let's try to, no, it doesn't go here well, right? So we need to put it away. Okay, can we combine something else right now? I don't think so. So let's try to open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the orange, orange one, yes. And let's shake and oh, so many things here. So let's try to go for the number. So here we have the number seven, orange color. So let's count the numbers. So here one, two, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven, well done. And here we have seven wheels, orange wheels. So we need to take them like this and we need to place on the number board one, and then let's count together. Two, and next one, three, and another one, four, and five, and yes, six, and the last one, yes, it's seven, amazing. And let's go through our puzzle pieces. Again, let's turn around them all. So this is the first, then ta let's take the corner puzzle piece. And let's see where we can place it. So here's the corner puzzle piece. Here is the corner puzzle piece. And here is another one. So I think we can connect like this. Great. And let's look at the puzzle pieces that we turn around. And I can see here that we have the father pig. So we can take this father pig and try to connect like this with the glasses. Great. And let's try this one. Amazing, well done, you're doing great. And let's take the mama pig. And here's the mama pig. And let's try to find where we can do it. I think it should go here like this. And you can see here is the part of the house. So we can connect like this, amazing. And the next one we're gonna take, gonna be, yes, this is the mouth of the father pig. So let's take it and let's place it. And yes, great, well done. And the next one that we're gonna take, gonna be the part of the house. Look, here is the part of the house and here. So let's try to combine, great. And then another, you can see there is the small detail of the ear of the pig. So let's try to find, and here is also the small, let's try, great. And the next one that we can connect, gonna be here, great, let's do it again, let's try, yes, works pretty well. And here we have the part of the sun, but I don't think it should go here, you see, we're still missing the piece of the sun, right? So let's try to leave it like this, and let's open the next crayon, and the next crayon that we're gonna open, gonna be the red one, let's take the red one, let's shake, and open, amazing, and we have the puzzle pieces and the red, hmm, so let's turn around the puzzle pieces, let's start this time with the puzzle pieces, let's turn around, oh, 
Okay, here we have the orange dress. And if you look at the puzzle board, you can see that here is also the orange dress. So what should we do? Yes, we should connect them together like this. Great. And the next one, you can see we have red color dress and the tail of the pig. So you can see here is the red color dress. So let's try to put this together like this. Great. And here is the corner puzzle piece of the grass, right? So we can connect like this. Amazing, well done. And the next one, you can see we have the sun. So last time we couldn't combine them together, but this time we could do it like this. And yes, works pretty well. And then this is the part of the sun that we also can combine like this, great. And the next one we have the nose of the mama pig. And where is the mama pig? Here is the mama pig, here is the nose, right? So let's connect, great. And let's take the next one. And the next one we have the butterflies. And where we should place those butterflies? Yes, they should go right here. And do we know where we can place the bee? No, at the moment, no. So let's continue with the numbers. So the next number that we're gonna take, gonna be the number one. So let's start and let's go. One, so it always starts with the number one. And let's take the wheel. We only have one wheel, right? Great, it's completed. So the next one, it's number two. So let's take the number two and let's move the number board. So here is number one, here is number two, like this, great. And let's take these two wheels, one and two, great. We almost completed the number board and the puzzle and we only left with two crayons. So let's open them. Let's take the pink one and open. Wow, so many wheels we have here. So let's start with the puzzle pieces. So here is our puzzle pieces. Let's turn around. And look, we already can see that here is the orange dress. And the last time the mama pig was wearing the orange dress. So let's take the orange dress and let's place it here like this. Great, and let's take another one. And let's turn around. So here's the part of the grass. And let's try to place it maybe here. But you can see that here is the part where the Peppa Pig stands, like a shadow, the small shadow. And yes, it goes pretty well. And the next one that we're gonna take, gonna be the father pig. And why it's a father pig? Because here is the part of the glasses, right? So let's take and yes, great, well done. And let's see where we can place this one. So it should be somewhere here. And I think we should just connect with this one. So here's the part of the leg of the father pig. Great. And we have the numbers and wheels. So let's start with the numbers. So here we have the number. Which one it's number? Can you guess? And you already know it. So we have the number nine, right? So where we should take the number nine and we should reverse it like this, right? So this is number six, but this is number nine. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. And let's take the wheels and let's place them on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you, you know it, seven, and another one, eight, and the last one, nine, great. And the number that we see here is number six, and it's a pink color. So let's count, one, two, three, four, five, and six, great. And let's take the wheels. So we have the wheels and let's place them. One, two, three, four, five, and six, great. 
Amazing! And we almost completed the puzzle. So let's open our last crayon. And it's a green color crayon. So let's open and take it. Oh, what we have here. Look, we have a lot of puzzle pieces and the number. So this is number four. And let's place on a board. Let's count. One, two, three, and four. And we also have the four wheels, green wheels. So let's put them. One, two, three, and four. Great. And let's take the puzzle pieces. And let's turn around like this. Okay. And here we have another piece from where we can see the part of the cloud. So this is, you can see it's a white cloud. And if we're gonna move like this, then yes, we completed almost the puzzle. So here is another one. And let's see, here is the son of the Papa Pig. So let's place like this. And another one, you can see here is the face. Let's try to do it, great. And here is the duck, let's, let's try to. And yes, and the last one, but not the least, we have the orange dress and the red dress, like this, great. And here we have the last one piece where we can see the B. So let's try to place. And yes, we've completed the puzzle with the Peppa Pig, with the fa family of the Peppa Pig. We can see the house, we can see the butterflies, we can see the bee, we can see the cloud, we can see the sun, we can see the Papa Pig, we can see the Mama Pig, we can see the Peppa Pig, and we can see the Sun Pig. Great, we've completed this puzzle. And then we also completed the numbers board. And let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, 10. Great, we've completed all puzzle pieces and the number board. Well done, congratulations, and see you in the next video. That was amazing. And our next game is game number two. So let's start. Today we're gonna solve the mama zebra and the baby zebra. So let's start. Oh, where did the puzzles go? And we have beautiful crayons. So we're gonna pick this crayon, the red one first. And we're gonna open it. Okay, let's do it. Wow, we have the puzzles, the cubes and the puzzle bit, but we also have the number. So let's start with the number. This is the number six. Okay, let's place it here, the number six. And let's look at those puzzle pieces. So we have cubes. Which one of this belong the cubes? Where we should place the cubes, here or here? Do you remember when we started? Exactly, here we can place the cubes, great. Here we have the puzzle pieces. Where we should place the puzzle pieces? If we have cubes here, then we can place puzzle pieces here. Great. First, we're gonna find the puzzle pieces and also the numbers, and then we're gonna try to solve them one by one. So let's open this one. Oh, we have two numbers and puzzle pieces. So let's start with the numbers. So here we have number four, and it's a green color. So we're gonna place the number four here. And between number four and six, we have number five. So it's a blue color. So four, five, six. Great. Let's look at those puzzle pieces. So here we have cubes. Where we should place the cubes, here or here? Yes, we should place the cubes here. So let's do it like this. And then we're gonna take the puzzle pieces and let's look where we should place them. We should place them here. Great. Let's leave it like this and let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the blue one. So let's shake and... Wow, so many things we have here. We have numbers and puzzles. So let's start with the numbers. So here we have number 
you know it it's number seven and it's an orange color so number seven goes right after the number six great so we have four five six and seven okay and here we have number two and number two is red color so let's try to place it where we should place yes because between two and four there is number three but we still need to find it okay and the next one number we have is number nine great and where we should place the number nine exactly it should go right here because between seven and nine there is also number eight that we need to find okay let's move to the puzzles so here we have these puzzles and where should we place them should we place in this puzzle board or this puzzle board yes we should place them here and then we should do it like this we have the cubes four cubes one two three and four and where we should place them here or here can you see the cubes yes we should place the cubes here great okay so let's open the next crayon and the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the pink one oh what we have here we have here again two numbers so here we have number eight the blue color and let's see where we can place the number eight can you see the place yes the number eight goes right after the number seven like this so we have seven eight nine okay and here what we have number three and it is yellow color and where we should place the number three exactly two and three great so let's count two three four five six seven eight and nine great and let's go with the puzzle so here we have three puzzles let's count one two and three and where we should place them we have here this type of puzzles and here we have cubes yes it should go to cubes so let's place them like this and then let's look at this puzzle so we here have here two puzzle pieces one and two so we need to place them at this board right great and we only left with the last crayon the yellow one let's open wow here we have the number 10 and the number one okay and where we should place the number one let's look at the numbers where we should place the number one it should go here because it always starts with number one and number one is red color great so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and the last one yes ten great we've completed all the numbers and we've learned how to count them let's do it again one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten great and let's look at those cubes so here we have three cubes right and let's place them right here okay so we found all the pieces to solve this puzzle right so then let's take these three puzzle pieces and just place them here like this great so let's start with the most difficult one right so what we need to find here is the zebra so what we're gonna do we're gonna rotate those cubes one by one let's do it together so let's find the zebra oh here is the zebra face great let's place it on the board and then let's take the next one so the next one gonna be this one okay let's turn oh here's the part of the zebra that's what we need and then the next one let's turn around do we see the zebra is this the zebra yes correct and then the next one let's rotate and what we have here the tail of the zebra and the black stripes and the white ones great and then the next one here we have the leg of the zebra great and let's find can you see here the zebra can you see the zebra yes here is the legs of the zebra great and then the next one this one let's turn around can you see the zebra yes it is here with the rainbow 
Great, let's place it on the board. And then the next one. Can you see here the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Ah, uh, I don't think there is the zebra right now, so let's place it away. And then another one. Do we see the zebra? Can you see the zebra? The black stripes and the white ones. Yes, it is here. Can you see the small part? So we're gonna place on the board like this. Okay, and the next one gonna be the another cube. Can you see the zebra here? Can you see the zebra? And yes, here is the zebra. Great, let's place it on the board. And then another one. Can you find the zebra? Can you find the zebra? Yes, where it is, where it is, where I should stop. Yes, it's this here, here's the zebra left. Great, we almost found every piece. So let's continue. Let's try to rotate. Can you see the zebra? Let's do it again. Can you see the zebra? Yes, here is the zebra, smiling. Okay, and then let's do it again. Let's see, can you spot the zebra? Can you spot the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Yes, it is here, great, amazing. Well done, and then the next one, what we have here, can we spot the zebra? Let's do it again, can we spot the zebra? Yes, yes, where it is? Here's the zebra, see the small part, that's what we need. Okay, great, let's place it somewhere here. Okay, and then let's take the next one, let's rotate. Can we find the zebra? Can we see it? Hmm, it is, can you see the zebra? It is here, yes, correct, nice. And then the next one, can we see the zebra? Is there is the zebra? I don't see the zebra, so can you see maybe, can you spot the zebra? No, let's put it away, so we have two puzzle pieces where we couldn't find the zebra, but let's leave them for now. So here we have all the puzzle pieces that contains the zebra. And right now we need to combine them. So let's start with the face. So here we have the face of the zebra. So let's put it away like this. And here we have the face of the zebra. Let's connect them together like this. Okay, great. Then maybe place somewhere in the middle. And then let's maybe continue with the rainbow, right? So let's start with the rainbow. So here we have the rainbow and here goes the rainbow, right? So we need to find the correct puzzle piece that would work with this, okay. Hmm, this one doesn't work. So maybe this one, let's try. Maybe like this, what do you think? No, it doesn't work. So maybe like this, what do you think? Yes, it works pretty well. What we have next one is the body of the zebra. Can you see the small part of the rainbow? Yes, correct. Well done. And then another thing. So here's the tree, the rainbow and the zebra. Can we do it? Yes. Let's let's try. Let's see. Does it work well? Hmm. Seems pretty off. So maybe if we're going to place it here and then we need to find something in between, right? So let's take another part of the zebra and maybe let's this time take the body and can you see yes we connected the body with the zebra and then we have a tail and here you can see we have a tree and the part of the tail so maybe if we're gonna connect them like this it's gonna work yes great and then another one could be hmm which one we should take again the rainbow we should start with the rainbow because it's always helps us out when we start to combine those puzzle pieces, right? So the next one, the legs. There is a lot of legs, so let's start with the legs. Mm, and what we should do? So here's the part of the tail. Here is the part of the tail. So let's do it like this. Great, well done. Okay, and then another one could be maybe here in the middle. Mm, I don't know, maybe do it like this. What do you think? You Do you think is it right? Yes, okay, great job. And then the next one, we're gonna take this one. Where we should place it? Hmm, maybe here? No, maybe let's try here. Yes, and we need to find here the legs. So we just go through the legs, maybe this one. No, let's try maybe place this here, like this. Great, and then let's take another one and 
Hmm, maybe like that one. Great, it worked pretty well. Here's the small part of the zebra, right? And here we have the zebra, the bushes and the rainbow. So let's try it, fit it in here. Yes, well done. So we almost completed the zebra puzzle, the most difficult one, and you've done it pretty quickly. So we have two puzzle pieces. Okay, so let's maybe try to find the rainbow. Can you see the rainbow? Yes, here's the rainbow with the cloud. So let's try to place it here like this. Great, and what we need to find is the tree with the flowers. So let's turn, can you see the tree with the flowers? Can you see the tree with the flowers? Can you see the tree with the flowers? Yes, it is here, right, correct. You picked it right. And done, we've completed the mama zebra. Amazing. So it's all done. So let's place it away and start with a baby zebra, right? So we have a lot of puzzle pieces here and we need to combine them together to get the this image here. So we have here the picture of the baby zebra. So maybe what we should do, we should start with the corner pieces. So we need to find the corner pieces. Is this a corner piece? Can you look at this? Yes, it has two sides that connect together. So it's a corner piece. And where we do have the flower. Here is the flower right here, right? And here is, and we also have the flower. So we're gonna move it at this corner, right? And we're gonna make it the next one. So the next one gonna be another corner piece. And then we're gonna look at this and then we're gonna look at the image. Yes, and then we're gonna look, yes, great. And then we're gonna take the next puzzle piece that this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the image where we see the rock. Can you see the rock? Yes, and then we're gonna move it down and then we're gonna connect. And then the next one we're gonna take gonna be again the bottom part right so we're trying to connect the, all the bottom parts so let's move it down like this and connect great we've done the bottom part so let's try to do the top part this one right so we're gonna take the corner piece and let's look where is the discord yeah it's on the left side right and then other side we have the head of the zebra so we need to find two puzzle pieces that would connect. So it's a side puzzle piece. So as you can see on the image, we have the tail and here we have the tail. So let's try to connect and yes, well done. And then the next one we're going to pick going to be the ears of the zebra. And let's try and push it and great. So we only need to find the middle, middle pieces. Okay, so middle pieces. We need to take the tail and the body and connect them together like this. Great. And then another one, we have the zebra mouth that's smiling on the right side. Great. And then we have the other part of the zebra and the tail here. Great. And then another one. Okay. So we're going to rotate and press. Great. We've completed the zebra puzzle and the mama zebra. Amazing, and we also found the numbers. So all of the numbers that we found, and we've completed this in no time and pretty quick. Well done, see you in the next video. Great, well done. And here we have game number three. Let's go. Hello kids, and today we're gonna learn about the farm animals. And we have the farm animal board where we have different farm animals. And we also have the rooster and the dog. And Mr. Pig gonna help us to solve all these puzzles. So let's start. Okay, so the first animal that we're gonna pick gonna be... Let's see what Mr. Pig gonna choose. Mr. Pig is choosing this one. Okay. So let's turn around and who we have here? Here we have a rooster, great. So let's find the place for the rooster. Okay, so maybe it could be here, no. So we need to find the same shape like this in this board, right? So we need somewhere to place it. Maybe let's try here, no. 
Maybe a ledge right here. Yes, great. We found our first animal. Okay, so the next one, Mr. Pig gonna help us. Okay, it's this one. So let's turn around. And who we have here? It's a goat with a bell, right? So let's see where the goat is going. The goat is, the goat is trying to find where it can be placed. Okay, the goat. And the goat goes here. Great, we found the second piece. The goat, the animal, the farm animal. Great, so let's look at Mr. Pig, where the Mr. Pig is going. Mr. Pig is saying this one. Okay, let's take this and turn around. And who we have here? Here we have Goose. Okay, so you see it's a wide and it start with letter G, Goose, great. So let's try to find the place. So let's see where the Goose is going, right? Let's start from here. Here comes the Goose. Where the Goose is going and yes, great. We found another place for the Goose. Amazing, so let's continue with the next animal. And here is Mr. Pig and Mr. Pig gonna show us. Mr. Pig is saying this one. Let's take this one and turn around. And who we have here? It's a bunny. Okay, so where are we gonna place the bunny? Look at how small it is. So bunny gonna start from here. And here is the place for the bunny. Great, well done. So let's find the next one animal. And okay, Mr. Pig is saying this one. Okay, who we have here? It's a lamp. And let's look where the lamp is going. So lamp is searching the place. This one, no, no, no. Lamp is searching the place where it could go. This one, no, maybe. And yes, great. The lamp found her place. Amazing, so let's continue. And Mr. Pig again gonna help us to find the animal. And this one, okay. And who we have here? Let's look closely. Here we have sheep. Great, so where are we gonna place the sheep? The sheep we're gonna place, let's look where the sheep is going. Sheep is trying to search for the place, right? So let's try to help her. It could go here, right? Great, we help the sheep to find her place. And then let's continue with the next one. And Mr. Pig is saying this. Okay, so here we have the bull. Okay, so the bull is going and trying to find the place, right? Where the bull is going. And here is the place for the bull, amazing. So let's again, here's Mr. Pig. And Mr. Pig gonna tell us where the next one, this one. Okay, so let's take this one and turn around. And who we have here, it's a duck. So let's look, the duck is going. So the duck trying to find place and here is the duck play. Great, well done. Okay, so Mr. Pig again saying that we should take this one. And let's turn around. And who we have here? Do you know who that is? Do you know it? It's a cow. Okay, where we can place the cow? The cow we can place here. Great, another piece that we found. And let's continue, we left with three pieces. So, Mr. Pig gonna help us and pick the right piece, this one. Okay, so let's take this one and turn around. Who we have here, do you know who that is? It's a donkey. So let's, the donkey is trying to find the place. And here it could go, great, well done. So we found the place for the donkey. 
and there is two others left so which one should we pick this one or this one let's try to find this one okay let's pick and who we have here do you know who that is can you name it can you say it loud right now one two three it's a pig okay let's place the pig the pig is going here and great we found the place for the pig and here is the last one let's turn around and who that is you know it's turkey turkey okay the turkey is going to find the place and let's look where the turkey is going okay turkey is searching for the place where it can, can where your home is and here's the home for the turkey great well done so we found all the farm animals and we also mr pig helped us great so the next one we have the dog we have the farm dog okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna try to solve this puzzle right now so let's go like this okay great so let's start it and let's try to find the puzzle pieces for the dog great and mr pig gonna help us so the first step that mr pig is saying we should turn around the cubes like this and try to find the puzzle pieces for the dog so let's do it so and let's ask mr pig for the help hmm mr pig is this a dog puzzle piece what do you think yes so we're gonna place it here then let's take this one and if we don't know we can always ask the mr pig hmm is this a dog house mr pig is it a dog house yes we're gonna do it here okay then let's take the next one maybe this one okay what we have here turn around and see hmm mr pig is this the puzzle is this the part of the dog mr pig is saying yes so let's take it and see great and let's take another one this one and turn around and let's see if we can find the dog mr pig is this a dog mr pig is saying yes this is the dog house and this is the ear of the dog yes so then let's take another one maybe this one so here we have the dog house and the bone and the food for the dog right yes mr pig is saying okay so the next one let's take and turn around and see if there is some kind of dog or dog house hmm. mr pig is this a tail of the dog what do you think mr pig is saying yes this is the tail of the dog so then let's take the next one hmm. mr pig what do you think of this one is this a face of the dog mr pig is saying yes okay let's take another one and rotate yes yes that's what we need it's the eyes of the dog great and then the next one mr pig is saying that this is the flowers from our puzzle you see so we're gonna take this great we found another puzzle piece so let's continue and turn around turn around and who is that do you know who that is it's a dog okay let's take to our puzzle great and the next one let's turn around hmm can we find dog or maybe dog house or maybe some kind of flower so let's ask mr pig mr pig what do you think hmm, mr pig not sure okay so we're gonna move it away right now so then let's take another one and rotate and see hmm. let's see if there is the dog hmm, mr pig what do you think of this one is this might be from our puzzle mr pig saying that yes we should try okay we're gonna place it here and let's take the next one and turn around and let's see hmm. mr pig what do you think 
there is any puzzle piece that we need from the dog. Yes, this is the puzzle piece from the dog. Thank you, Mr. Pig. And then the next one. Let's turn around and see. Is there is the dog? Hmm, interesting. Let's let's look for it. And hmm, we can't find. Okay. Let's move it away. And then the next one. There is the dog. Let's see. How do you think of this, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that this could be the tail of the dog. Okay, let's take this. And we have the last one. So let's rotate and see. Mr. Pig, what do you think of this? This is the legs of the dog. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Okay, we found all the puzzle pieces that we need. So the first thing that we're gonna do, gonna be the face of the dog, right, Mr. Pig? Yes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place it like that around the puzzle board, right? So then we're gonna start with the face. So we're gonna take this face and place it here. And then we're gonna take the eyes and together. Great, well done. And then we're gonna take the mouth of the dog like this. Amazing. And then the ears of the dog, right, Mr. Pig? Yes, okay, great. So let's combine them. And then we have the dog house. Okay, so here is the dog house, like this. And there is the roof of the dog house, like that. And there is another here, and the house, a dog house. Great, thank you. Mr. Pig is helping us, so he's gonna help us with the legs. So he's saying that we should take this and this puzzle piece, right? So this is the legs. And then we should turn around and try to place it like that. Okay, so at the bottom and yes, okay. And then we have a tail of the dog. So let's maybe place it like this or maybe here, right. And there is another puzzle piece, the tail of the dog, right? Okay, so what we need is the body of the dog. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate and place it in the middle great and there is the flowers remember the flowers okay and here is the ear of the dog right here great and we left with two puzzle pieces right that we need to till still to find out which one should we use so maybe let's turn around and see so this could be the back of the dog right so let's place it Great, amazing. So the last one would be the paw of the dog, the small part. It could be this one, you see, here is the paw of the dog and great. Well done, we completed the dog puzzle. Amazing, thank you, Mr. P. And then we're gonna take our another puzzle with the rooster. So what we need to find here is the rooster. So Mr. Pig gonna help us, so. Here is the rooster, the head of the rooster, right? The face. So Mr. Pig is rotating them and he gonna help us to turn around and see if there is the rooster, right? So let's do it. Mm, this could be the rooster, right, Mr. Pig? Yes, okay. So let's move it like this. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig is really smart, right? So he gonna help us to solve this puzzle. Mm, let's try to find the rooster. So we have these two puzzle pieces. So then we're gonna rotate another one. Oh, Mr. Pig is saying this is another one that we should take. Great, amazing. And then let's go with another one. So this is the tail of the rooster here. Okay, and then another one. Mm, let's see. It could be this one, yes. Let's take this and great. And another one. Mr. Pig is helping us. He's saying it could be this. Okay, let's do it and take. And yes, well done. And Mr. Pig is helping us hugely with this. He's saying that this could be the body of the, the wing of the rooster. All right, so let's do it. And 
great so we only need two puzzle pieces so mr big what are you saying hmm, this one or let's rotate and see mr big is saying that this one could be okay let's take this and yes indeed this is the right puzzle as always mr big is always right okay and the last one let's see and yes here is the rooster okay so let's move it like that and great we found all the puzzle pieces of the rooster amazing we've completed all the puzzles so we've completed the rooster puzzle piece the dog puzzle piece right and the board with the farm animals so we learned about every animal on the board great so this is the cow bunny rooster goat sheep goose lamb duck bull pig donkey and turkey and here we have rooster and dog great thank you mr big for helping us to complete all of these puzzle pieces see you in the next video amazing we just completed the game number three and here we have game number four it's time to play and solve it let's go and today we're gonna solve the cow puzzle and after the cow puzzle we're gonna solve the dear baby puzzle let's start okay so right now we have different puzzle pieces and we have cubes right so what we need to do we need to find the cow right so the first step would be to make all these cubes in one line like this and then what we're gonna do we're gonna rotate them one by one okay and we're gonna try to find the cow okay so the first step would be to take this cube and next what we're gonna do we're gonna rotate like this and let's see if we can see the cow right so let's rotate hmm can you see the cow at the moment no so if we can find the cow then what we should do we should move it away so then let's take the next one and again let's rotate right let's push the cube till we see the cow right or maybe the part of the cow let's rotate this side hmm no there is no cow okay let's move it away then let's take another one and let's do again rotate and see if there is the cow right rotate this side if there is the cow hmm. no okay let's move it aside then take another one and let's rotate this and see then this side if there is the cow oh there is the cow the first puzzle amazing congratulations we found our first puzzle with a cow so what once we found the first puzzle we're gonna place this puzzle here right so it would be our first one so then let's take another one and rotate and see if there is the cow right let's look for the cow can you see the cow if you see the cow then let me know Hmm, this doesn't this cube doesn't have any cow parts so let's take another one and rotate one two three four and then another side one hmm this seems to be like a cow tail what do you think so let's look at our first puzzle that we found this one and let's look at this one is this seems to be a cow yes so we found our first our first puzzle and then we found our second so what we can do we can combine them together like this so let's do it 
And yes, so we've combined two puzzle pieces. Okay, let's continue with our search and let's take another puzzle piece and rotate like this. And if you see the cow, then please let me know. Please let me know and I'm gonna stop. Should I stop? Okay, so here we have the hand and the cow leg, right? And the cow nose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this here at the moment and then let's keep searching. So the next one, let's rotate and see if there is the cow. Hmm. So we rotate this side and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate this side. Can you see the cow? No. Okay, let's move it aside and then let's take another one like this. And then, as you know, we need to look for the cow. Can you see the maybe face of the cow or eyes of the cow, right? Is this a cow? Is this a cow? Yes, correct. So we found another puzzle piece for the cow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this puzzle piece and we're gonna move like this. And great, we combined three puzzle pieces and this is another one. So let's move together like this. Great, we've combined four puzzle pieces. So we almost finished the cow puzzle, but let's continue with searching the cow puzzle pieces. So let's rotate and see if there is the cow. Oh, I don't see any cow. Okay, let's rotate down. There is the cow. Is this a cow? No, this is the zebra. It's a different animal and it's a wild animal, right? So the cow, the cow is, which animal is the cow? The cow is farm animal, correct. Okay, let's keep going. So let's look for the cow. Hmm. Let's rotate, then go down like this. No, there is no any cow here. Okay, let's take another one and rotate. And okay, who is that? Is that the cow? A leg of the cow? Yes, seems to me it is. So let's take this and let's move maybe to this one side. But if you look closely, it doesn't work here. So what we need, we need to move this puzzle piece right here, right? So we need to find the middle part. Okay, great. So let's keep searching the cow puzzle. So let's take this one and rotate like this. Okay, here is the cow. Look, and this puzzle piece is in the middle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this right in the middle like this. Great. So we found already the cow, but we still need to find the top part, right? So let's keep going. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this puzzle piece and we're gonna rotate and see if there is the cow. No, it doesn't seem to me that there is the cow, but let's keep rotating and see. No, let's take another one and let's rotate and if there is a cow, or maybe some kind of part of the cow, right? That we need to find. Let's rotate. Hmm. No, I don't see. Okay. So let's move it away and take another one and rotate like this. Okay, here is the, maybe the zebra, right? But we need a cow. Cow is the farm animal, right? Okay, so we're gonna move it away, then take another one, okay, and then rotate. And if there is the cow, let's look for the cow. No, there is no cow. Okay, so let's move it away. And then another one, the last one. So let's rotate and see if there is the cow. Hmm, no, there is no cow. Okay, so. This puzzle pieces that didn't contain the cow, but what we need to find is the top top part of the cow. So we need to find the horns, right? And here is also like a butterfly, the white butterfly. So what we're gonna f 
focus on gonna be the horns, right? So let's try this puzzle piece and then let's rotate this way. And then look for the horns of the cow. Hmm, this seems to me like a horns of the cow and the part of the butterfly. So let's take this and place it like this. Great. So let's keep going. So we need to find the white butterfly. Okay. So what we should do, we should take these pieces. And then maybe which one should we take to find the butterfly? Mm, maybe this one. Let's do it. Let's rotate and Hmm, do you think that this is from our cow? What do you think? Should we try to move this right here? Let's try and yes! Great! Well done! So the last thing that we need to find, I think it's gonna be the tree here, right? Or leaves. So maybe let's do it. So what we should do? Hmm, maybe this one could work. Let's try it. We always should try, right? Hmm, it doesn't work well. So this is a different puzzle piece. So what we should do, we should look for the tree, right? And when we see the tree, we should try it. This is also tree. So maybe we should try it. And no, it doesn't work. So when it doesn't work, what we should do, we should place this puzzle piece away. And then we also already tried this one, right? So when we try it, then we're gonna move this away. So the next one, okay, maybe this one. Let's try and see. Let's try and rotate and see if there is some kind of cow or, or the tree, right? Hmm, maybe this one. So this is the ear of the cow. So if you look at this cow, you see it has the yellow ear, right? And here is also yellow ear. So what we should do, we should move it like that. Great. Oh, well done. We've completed the cow puzzle. Amazing. So we found the cow. So here is the cow. Here is the butterfly. Here is the sun. Here we have the tree and the leaves. Here is our bird. And here are two ants. One and two. Amazing. Well done. Let's Continue with the next puzzle. So let's continue with solving the deer puzzle, the baby deer. So the first thing, as always, you know, we should take our puzzle, place it like this, and then we should rotate with our finger. Okay, so let's do it and let's try to see if there is the deer, right? Hmm, this seems to me like an ear of the deer. So when we found something from the deer, then we're gonna place it here and we're gonna leave it. And then we're gonna take another piece, right? And then we're gonna rotate and see if there is the deer, right? This is the tiger. Who is that? So what do you think? Is this a deer that we need? Yes, great. Let's take our puzzle piece and place it like that. And then let's continue with the next one. So, and let's rotate and see if there is the deer, right? Hmm. Let's rotate on the other side like this. And hmm, this seems to me like a part of the deer. What do you think? Should we take this puzzle piece to our board? Yes, let's do it. And great. Let's take another one, this one. And let's move it and rotate. Hmm. No, this, this might be the monkey, right? But we need a deer, right? So if there is the deer, let's run a different side. Hmm. This seems to me like a deer with the flowers on the body. That's what we need. So let's move this puzzle piece to other ones. Great. So let's take another puzzle piece, right? And let's rotate and see if there is the deer, right? So when I'm rotating, you just let me know if I should stop. Okay, so who we have here? Here we have the part of the deer, right? The orange, the tail. Let's move this here. Great. Let's continue and try to find those parts. 
let's rotate and see if we can find the deer part that we need for our puzzle hmm this seems to me like also that what we need right maybe this is the part of the ear of the deer okay let's move it and the next one let's rotate and see and we also always should look at the image itself in the left corner right so in the left corner you can see our deer and you will see that we just need to complete this puzzle by finding the right piece so let's move it hmm can you see the deer or maybe some kind of part of the deer i don't see right now so when we can't find then we just move it away and then we get back to it later so let's take this puzzle piece and can we see the deer hmm. I don't see the deer but let's try again this butterfly could be from our puzzle okay that's what we need so let's take the last one and then rotate this side then that side and this side mm, where's the deer is this a deer with the eye closed yes this is what we need okay let's take our puzzle piece here Hey, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna try to try to take the face, place it, and then we have the eye here. So maybe that's not the eye, this is the eyebrows, right? So on top of the eye, like this. Great, well done. So then we should take the ear of the deer and try to connect together like this. Great, so we need another part of the ear. So maybe if we're gonna take this puzzle piece and move it and yes, great, we completed the face of the deer. So let's work on the body. Let's take this puzzle piece and move it and connect. Great, well done. So we need the tail, right? So here is the another part of the body so let's move it and combine amazing and there is another one with the tail right so here comes our tail and yes it worked pretty well so what we need right now is this part and this one so here we have the mighty butterfly and the tree and well done and here is another part with the tree right so here is our tree and the bird. So let's move it together and great! We've completed the deer puzzle. So we found the deer. Here is the flowers on the body. Here are the two birds. One, the yellow bird and two, the pink bird. And we also have the butterfly. And on this puzzle we have three trees. So one, two, and three amazing well done we've completed two puzzles the deer and the hedgehog see you in the next video congratulations we just completed the game four and here we have our game five let's start hello kids and today we're gonna solve the ostrich puzzle let's start and Look who we have. We have the Mr. Pig. We're gonna help us. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, Mr. Pig? Yes, we're gonna turn around these puzzle pieces and try to find the ostrich. So let's do our first cube. Okay, so let's turn around and Mr. Pig gonna help us. Let's turn around and can you see the, oh, okay, here is the leg of the ostrich. Okay, we found the first one. And let's continue with the next one. And let's try to, to look for the ostrich. And who is that? Yes, that's the ostrich. Great, we found another puzzle. And Mr. Pig gonna help us to find the 
Puzzle number three. Okay, which one should we take, Mr. Pig? This one. Great. And let's rotate and see if there is the ostrich. Mm. And here it is. Great. We found another puzzle piece of the ostrich. Great. So then let's take this puzzle piece, right, Mr. Pig? Yes, and then let's rotate. Hmm, where could be the ostrich? Can you see the ostrich? Please let me know if you see the ostrich. Yes, this is the ostrich. Great. Let's continue by searching the ostrich. Let's take this puzzle piece and rotate and see if there is the ostrich. Let's look closely. Hmm, let's ask Mr. Pig if this image belongs to ostrich. Yes, it belongs. So we're gonna take to our puzzle board and let's take the next one and rotate and see if there is the maybe some kind of wings or something, the part of the ostrich. And let's turn around. And yes, here it is. The you see the feathers of the ostrich great we only left with three puzzles so let's turn around and see hmm i think it's this one what do you think should we take this mr pig yes we should take this to our puzzle board great and let's take the next one and rotate and see if there is the feathers of the ostrich Maybe the leg or maybe the face, something that we can take to our puzzle board. Hmm. It seems that this is from the ostrich puzzle. What do you think, Mr. Pig? And Mr. Pig examining the puzzle. Hmm. Yes, this is from the ostrich puzzle. Great. And we have the last one. And let's rotate and see if there is some kind of image of the ostrich right what do you think mr pig is this this one yes so we found all our puzzles for the ostrich but what should we do next mr pig the next thing that we should do we should start with the face so with this one right we're gonna start with this one and we're gonna try to find other piece. So it's gonna be this and we should combine them together. And then we have also the legs, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna combine them together like this. Okay. Hmm. And next one. Okay, we found three. Great. So be here we need like a body of the ostrich. So let's take maybe this one. Hmm, does it work? Maybe let's rotate, maybe like this, great. And then we need the neck of the ostrich. So it could be like this. And then we can connect our head to the body. Great, and we are left with two puzzle pieces. Okay, so. We have this one and this one. Great. We've completed the ostrich puzzle. See you in the next video. Yay, that was great. And the next game, our last one, it's game number six. So let's prepare ourselves and let's go. And today we have a seaward puzzle and we also have the shape board and we also have the beautiful and colorful crayons. So let's start. Oh, where did the puzzles go and the shapes? I think they're somewhere in these crayons. So let's find them and let's pick our first crayon. And the first crane that we're gonna pick gonna be the green crane. So let's take it and shake it like this. Let's open it. Wow, we have a shapes and we have a puzzle. And here we have the crab 
and let's look at this puzzle and see where the crab is. Yes, you're right, the crab is in the corner. So let's place this puzzle piece here. Great, we found our first puzzle piece. And let's continue with our shapes. And here we have the orange shape, the red shape and the green shape. And let's start with orange shape. How many holes this orange shape has? One. And let's look at the shape board. How many holes the shape board has? One. So let's place like this. Let's continue with the next one. How many holes this triangle has? Triangle shape, three holes, one, two, and three. So we need to place it somewhere here. Let's count, one, two, three. Great. And let's look at this red shape. How many holes this red shape has? One, two, three, four, five. Let's count here, one, two, three, four, five. And let's place, great, we found our first three shapes. Let's continue on our puzzle adventure. And let's take the brown crayon. Let's shake it like this and let's open it. Great, we have here the shapes and two puzzle pieces. So let's start with puzzle pieces. Let's turn around them. And here we have the fish. And let's look at the puzzle board where the fish, fish is. Yes, you're right, it is in the corner. Let's place it, great. And let's turn around this puzzle and it's a tail of the shark. And let's think where we can place it. And here you can see we have a face of turtle. And here is the face of turtle and here is the tail of the shark. Let's place like this for a moment, great. And let's look at our shapes. And here we have the orange, the green, and the red. And let's count. Here we have one hole. So we can place it here. And here we have one, two, three, four, five. Five holes. Let's place it here. Great. And here we have three holes. One, two, three. Let's put it like this. Great, let's continue on our puzzle adventure. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the yellow one. Let's take it and open it. Let's shake. Great, we have two puzzles and three shapes. Let's start with the puzzles and let's turn around. So the first puzzle that we have is the shark eyes and the mouth. And we also have the smiley face of the fish. And let's look at the board where we can place this puzzle. Yes, you're right, we can place it here in this corner. And we can combine the shark face with the tail, with the body. Great, well done. Let's look at this puzzle, what we have here. Here we have the part of the crab. And here we have part of the crab. And you can see here we have the smiley face of the crab. So we can place it Yes, like this, great work. Let's continue with our puzzles. And here we have the red shape and let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Great, and let's place on the board and count. One, two, three, four, five. Great, and you can see here we only have red shapes. And the new shape is yellow shape and it only has two holes, one and two. So let's place on a board. Let's count, one, two. Let's place like this, great, well done. Let's take this green shape and let's count, one, two, three, great. Let's place on a board, amazing. And let's continue with our puzzle journey. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the pink crayon. Let's open it. Amazing, we have shapes and we have the puzzle. So let's turn the puzzle around and see what we have here. And here you can see the face of the unicorn, of the fish, unicorn. Let's see where we can place it on the board. And also here is the body of the turtle. And here you can see the body of the turtle 
And here you can see the face of the unicorn fish. So let's place like this. Great, amazing. And let's look at our shapes. So we have the orange shape, we have blue shape, and we have yellow shape. So let's start with orange shape. And orange shape only has one hole. So we can place it, yes, here, great. Well done. Let's take the next one. The next one is yellow shape and it has two holes. Let's look at the board and let's, and let's put it like this. Great, you're doing so amazing. And let's take this big blue shape and let's count one, two, three, and four. And let's look at the board and we can put it. Let's do like this. Great, well done. We almost done our puzzle and the shape board. Let's continue with the three crayons that we left and let's pick the blue crayon and let's shake it and open it. Great, we have here the puzzle and the three shapes. So let's look at the puzzle first. So here we have the puzzle piece. And let's look at the board where we can place. And here you can see we have the hand of the crab. And we have a hand of the shark. So let's think where we can place. And I think the and I think where we can put this would be in the middle. Let's try. Yes. And let's press. Great. Well done. Let's do with the shapes. Let's take this yellow shape. How many holes this shape has? One and two. Let's look on the board where we can place the yellow shape. Maybe here. Right, great. Marvelous. Let's take this big blue shape and we have four holes. One, two, three, and four. Let's put it on a board like this. Great. Let's take the red shape and let's count. One, two, three, four and five. Great. Let's place it on a board. Yes. Congratulations. And we only have two crayons left. We have red crayon and we have orange crayon. So which one should we pick? Let's pick the orange crayon. Let's take it and shake it. Look, we have the shapes and we have the puzzle piece. So let's start with the puzzle piece. And here you can see the eyes of the crab and the body of the unicorn fish. So let's look on the board and see where we can place this. And I think the eyes are here and the unicorn body is here. Let's try on this side. Great, amazing. And let's look at those two shapes. And here we have a blue shape. Let's count. One, two, three, and four. Great. And let's look at the board. And here you can see the blue shape. So we can place it here, like this. Great, well done. And let's take the yellow shape and let's count. One and two. And let's think together where we can put it on a board. Maybe here? No, there is, on, there is only two holes. So here we have the yellow shapes with two holes and we have the yellow shape with two holes. Amazing. I'm so excited that you're completing this puzzle so fast and so good. Great. And we only have the last crayon left. And the last crayon is red colored crayon. Let's open it. Amazing. Let's take the shapes first. So we have blue shape, we have orange shape, and we have green shape. Let's take the green shape and it has three holes. One, two, three. And here we have the green shapes. Right, it goes pretty well. Let's take the orange shape and let's look where we can put it. Here we have only one hole and here we have only one hole. Yes, it goes here. Amazing. And let's take the blue shape and let's count. One, two, three, and four. 
where we can place it. Yes, here. Great. We've completed our shape board. And let's take the puzzle piece. And let's think where we can put it. Here we have the part of the body of the fish. And here we have the mouth of the shark. Here is the last empty space where we can put this puzzle. So let's try it together. And yay, we've done the puzzle and we've done the shape. And we done this so amazing. We found the orange shapes. We found the yellow shapes. We found green shapes. We found blue shapes and we found red shapes. And we also found and completed this puzzle. We found the shark. We found the fish, we found the unicorn fish, and we found the crab. Well done. Amazing. See you in the next video. Yes, you've completed all games. Well done. See you in the next video. Thank you, kids. Bye. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.